Kia ora, good evening. There's one devastating COVID peak we're yet to pass, the deaths peak. But modellers believe we're close. There were another 23 deaths reported today. Most were over the age of 80, but one was in their 30s and two were in their 50s. That takes the total number of reported deaths with COVID to 378. More than 100 of those were in the past week. Hospitalisations continue to fall, though, down to 678, with 30 in intensive care. And there were 11,593 new cases. Health officials say vaccinations remain our best protection. And as health correspondent Lucy Warhurst reports, America's own version of Ashley Bloomfield says New Zealand has done better than the United States. A classic Saturday sausage sizzle sweetens the deal. Now, did you come for the hot dog or the vaccine? <laughs> Just for my son. <laughs> Feel relieved. <laughs> so he can go back to school now. <laughs> From first shots for tiny tots to big boosters. Feel more protected, yes. Yes, right. more safe. I want to be protected so I don't get COVID. 95% of over 12s are double vaccinated and 72% of those eligible are boosted, which gets us a thumbs up from the man who's run the US response, Dr. Anthony Fauci. That's a really good thing. In fact, you're doing better than we're doing here at the United States. Dr. Fauci told News Hub Nation the only way to prevent new variants is for all nations to pull together and vaccinate the entire world. I believe the more people that get vaccinated and boosted, we will reach a point where it is not eliminated completely, but it is at such a low level that we can get on with leading normal lives the way we did prior to the pandemic. Those on our front line are working on it. Now that the Pacific has now uh, got their numbers shooting up quite quickly in Tonga and in Samoa, uh, we're, we're part of teams that are being deployed. The, the whole globe is learning off each other, and, and I think we're, we're right in the middle of it as, as a nation in New Zealand. And there'll be no slowing down here. These drive throughs could soon be offering flu and COVID jabs. It just makes sense to do it. Since we're out here doing this, uh, we could do both, but uh, we're looking at ways of doing that safely. Because winter's coming, and this time, COVID's with us. OK, Lucy, do we have any idea when we might see COVID-related deaths start to decline? Well, Tom, I was speaking to modeller Dion O'Neill this afternoon and he says that the deaths won't peak until cases peak among older people. Now, while overall cases are coming down, cases among the over 70s are actually still going up. Now, the best way to keep deaths down, of course, is to keep vaccinations up. Now, there's a late night event going on here in Papa Toy Toy. This is the Pacifica Youth United Group and they'll be working hard until nine o'clock tonight. So if you do want want to get vaccinated, come on down. There's a good vibe. <laughs> Indeed. Thanks very much for the update, Lucy.